shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the poor prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. By her haggard appearance, the prince was sneered at the gift and turned the old book woman away. But when she sneered at when she warned him again not to be deceived by appearances of beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal. to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him. inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope, for who could ever learn to love a beast? I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre That's and... That's nice. Marie! The baguettes! Hurry up!
eyes. Well, if you like it so much, you can have it. Oh, but sir. I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Look, there she goes. That girl is so peculiar. I wonder if she's feeling well. With a dreamy far off look. And her nose stuck in a book. What a puzzle to the rest of us, us is bad. Gaston, you're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. No beast alive to the chance against you, and no girl for that matter. It's true, LeFou, and I've got my sights set on that one. The inventor's daughter? She's the one, the lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's... The most beautiful girl in town. I know, but... That makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Of course you do. And from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell Cause in town there's only she Who's as beautiful as me So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle Look there he goes Isn't he dreamy? Oh, oh sir, sir. Yes, on. Oh he's so cute! He's still my heart I'm hardly breathing He's such a Please let us through. It's still not as mistaken. mistaken. There must be more than this provincial life. I'm, sure I'm going to make Belle my wife. And then she goes, that girl is strange but special. Almost peculiar, mademoiselle. It's a pity and a sin. She doesn't quite fit in. She really is a funny girl, a beauty, but a funny girl. She Hello, Belle. Bonjour, Gaston. Excuse me. Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There are no pictures. Well, some people like to use their imagination. You know, Belle, it's about time you get your head out of these books and pay attention to more important things. Hint, hint. Like you? Exactly. The whole town's been talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Why, thank you, Belle. What do you say we walk over to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? What do you say we don't? Come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about me. You can't even imagine. Gaston, please. I have to get inside to help my father. <laughs> that that crazy old fool. He needs all the help he can get. <laughs> don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Papa! 
some genius. <laughs> <laughs> What's a genius? LeFou, I want you to go to the woods and bring me back the biggest, healthiest deer you can Not find. Not the woods! Anything but the woods! You know I hate the woods! Just go. I need a deer for my wedding feast. But it's dark and spooky and there's bugs and spiders! Papa, are you all right? I, I'm, I'm fine, but I'll never get this bonehead contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. And become a world's famous inventor. Do you really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, we better get cracking. This thing isn't just going to fix itself. Now, uh, where'd I put that dog-legged clencher? Oh, Papa. So, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me to faraway places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and... Happy ending. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd. Now, where would you get an idea like that? I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. They talk about me too. No, I not odd nor you, no family ever seen him, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say and do, you couldn't make it plainer, you are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the common herd. And you can take my word. You are unique. Creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm by your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty, I there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the crowd. Just what we've got, no matter what. Now some may say all oh, fathers just exaggerate. That every daughter's great. You are. And every daughter tends to say her father's top. She pulls out all the stops to praise him and, and quite rightly. No matter what the pain, we've come this far. I pray that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're all I've got. No matter what. Now, 
Now, what do you say we give her a try? All right. Uh, you get the logs. All right. Stand back. Here we go. It works! <laughs> it, it does, it does. Papa, you did it! You'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I know it! <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I will at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you a scarf for good luck. Now, I know I'll win. And then we can get out of this town and go to all the places you read about in your books. Well, I'm off. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful. First prize is nearly mine, it's quite my best invention. So simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is provided I can find the fair at all. I must have missed a sign. Should have paid attention. That's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Wolves. Let me in! Let me in! Hello? Hello? Now you've done it! I told you not to let him in! We could not leave him for the wolves! Is someone there? If we keep quiet, maybe he'll go away. Uh, is anyone home? Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. I don't mean to intrude. It's just I've lost my way in the woods, and I need a place to stay. Poor fellow. Oh, Cogsworth, Aveyard. Monsieur, you are welcome here. Uh, I, I heard that, and I'll thank you to step out in the light where, where I can see you. Hello. Ah. And goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. You're a clock, and you're talking. Astonishing, isn't it? Quite inexplicable. Goodbye. Cogsworth. I'm surprised at you. 
Where are your manners? We've got to get him out of here before the master finds out. How is this accomplished? Really, sir, if you just... Ow! Stop it! Stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it, I say! Really, sir, do you mind? Well, I'm stumped. Maybe it's some sort of newfangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. I beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude. It's just I've never seen a ta... a ta... a tucking... <laughs> Bless you. You're chilled to the bone. Come, monsieur. Warm yourself by the fire. No, no, I forbid it! Lumiere, as head of the household, I demand you stop right there. Oh, not the master's chair! I'm not seeing this! I'm not seeing this! Ooh la la! What do we have here? Do my eyes deceive me, or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, uh, well, uh, hello. All right, this has gone far enough. I'm in charge here, and... Coming through. How would you like a nice cup of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, oh, yes, please. No, 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 no tea! He'll be here all night! No tea! There you are. This is just what I needed. Ah. I think I scared him, Mama. Uh, uh, hey there, little fella. What's your name? Chip. Figures. Careful a blanket, monsieur. I just love older men. Babette, you are always trying to make me jealous. Well, it's not going to work this time. Me? What about you? With Simone. Jacques. Michel. Pierre. Veronique. Ho, 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 Veronique. Ah, Lumiere, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. As I was saying, he is bound to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no. Remain calm. There is absolutely no reason to panic. Lumiere is right. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to panic. Mind if I borrow this? There's a stranger in here. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by wolves. Who let him in? Master. May I take this opportunity to say that I was against it from the start? Who dare disobey me? You have all betrayed me. Who are you? Uh, M -M -M Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I, I got lost in the woods. Well, you are not welcome here. W well, then I I'll just be on my way. It's... Hideous, isn't it? Oh, no, I wasn't. You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? I meant no harm. I just got lost in the woods, and I needed a place to stay. Oh, I'll give you a place to stay.
it's so. <laughs> girls, girls, I'm only doing a little thing like getting married. Don't tell me that's gonna change your feelings for me. Oh, no, no, never. And we'll still have a little rendezvous, won't we? Oh, yes. Yes, always. Good. Well, if I'm gonna have a wedding, I better propose to the bride. Run along now. <laughs> Belle, oh, Belle, hello. Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it, though? For you, mademoiselle. Well, isn't that nice? A miniature portrait of you. You shouldn't have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town that wouldn't love to be in your shoes. This is the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. <laughs> One dream nearly all your life Hoping, scheming, just one theme Will you be Hawaii? Will you be some he-man's property? Good news that he-man's me This equation, girl plus man, doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too, mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend with me. We'll be raising sons galore. Inconceivable. Each built six foot four. Unbelievable. Each one stuffed with every guest on G. I'm not hearing You'll this. You'll be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So unwettable. You are part of this idyllic scene. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill rusting on the fire. My little wife massaging my feet on the floor with the kids and the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, Belle, strapping boys like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We will be the perfect pair, rather like my thighs. You are face to face with destiny. All roads extend to the best things in life. Well, all's well that ends with me. Escape me, there's no way. Certain as Joe, Belle, will you marry? So, Belle, what would it be? Yes, or is it? Oh, yes! I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me. But thanks for asking. So, how'd it go? You know that bell, always playing hard to get. She turned you down? For now, but be sure I'll bell for my wife. Make no mistake about that. If she turned him down, maybe I'll still have a chance. No! no! Is he gone? Can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. No, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial. adventure in the great white somewhere I want it more than I can tell and for once it might be grand to have 
someone understand I want so much more than they've got planned. Hey, Val, have you seen Gaston? You just missed him. Wait a minute. Where did you get this scarf? This in the woods. Pretty nice, huh? This belongs to my father. Yeah, well, finders keepers. LeFou, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found this. Uh-huh. Think? Somewhere in the woods. Harder. Somewhere in the grass. It's okay. Ow. LeFou, don't you understand? Something must have happened. You have to take me back. Not the woods again. LeFou, you have to take me back. Not on your life. Then I'll find it myself. Keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him in to stay, didn't we? Serve him tea! Sit in the master's chair! I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish! Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? You always were insufferable, but every day you become just a little more in. Flexible, a little more tightly wound, a little more ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me the stupid puns. At least we are not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. She always was too vain about her looks. That's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Little drawers, mirror, the works. And poor Jean-Claude. Who? Jean-Claude, you remember him. Not too bright, dumb as... A brick. Is it a wall? Jean-Claude's a brick wall. That's him in the kitchen, behind the stove. A tisk tisk. And you know Guillaume, the ass boy? That mealy mouthed little bootlicker. I never liked him. Always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. Perfect. Gogsworth, it's happening fast with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible too for making him the way he is? Well, I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away to nothing. I only hope that there is something Something left of me if the master ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl! Oh, yes, of course I can see it's a girl. It's, it's a, a girl! girl! Mademoiselle! Lumiere, let me do most of the talking. Yoo-hoo! As head of the household, I should do most of the talk. Sherry! A word! Just a word! That's all I'm asking for! Mama, Mama, you're not gonna believe what I saw. Then in a million thousand years, then a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear? No, really. It's the greatest thing. It's the thing that everyone's been waiting for since, since, well, I don't know when. All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Oh, bless my soul, wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. 
Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Potts, did you hear there's a girl in the castle? See, I told you. And she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. This is the girl, the one who has come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not be hasty. After all these years, oh happy, happy day. Stop it, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I, I mean no. I mean wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle. Papa. How did you find me? Oh, your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Y you must go now. Who's done this to you? Th th there's no time to explain. I won't leave you. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? I am the master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I take orders from no one. Throw her out. No, no, wait, please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited. And now he'll suffer the consequences. Wait, please. There's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What did you say? Take me instead. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. No. Forever? Forever, or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair. Wait, come into the light. Make your choice. Well, listen to me. I'm old and I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Papa! Please, let her go. Take him to the crossroads. No, not yet! No, Belle! Papa! Master? Master, please. Since the girl is going to, to be with us for quite some time, you might want to offer a more comfortable room. And even get to say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And you didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? Yes, or would you rather stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You are free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in there? It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. I hope you will be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servant will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request. Yes, 
I made the choice for Papa I will stay but I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way you monster if you think that what you've done is right well then you're a Is this home? Is this where I must learn to be happy? Never dreamed that a home could be dark and cold. I was told all the days of my childhood, even when we grow old, Home should be where the heart is. Never were words so true. My heart's far, far away. Home is too. What I give to return to the life that I knew lately and to think. I complained of that your provincial town. Is this home? Am I here for a day or forever? Shut away from the world until who knows where. Once it can change again Build higher walls around me Change every lock and key Nothing lasts, nothing holds all of me My heart's far, far away Is it? Mrs. Potts, dear, I thought you'd like some tea. Come in. Ah, nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem brighter. Who are you? Mrs. Potts, dear, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouge. Perhaps you've heard of me? Sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star to ever grace the stage, but fall under one little spell. Shh. This is impossible. I know it is, darling, but here we are. Well now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Hmm. This is nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let me see what I've got in my drawers. Oh, no, no, not this. How did this get in here? <laughs> ah, I wore this the night that I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer fitting into it now. Here, take it. Thank you, but I'm not going to dinner. Don't be silly. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak now, but you mustn't despair. We are here to see you through. 
I know that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Darn right. No one says no to Gaston. Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who you? Never. Gaston, you gotta pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here likes to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's odd and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why no one's slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston, no one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston, for there's no man in town half as manly. Perfect up your paragon, you can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No one's been like Gaston or King Ken like Gaston. No one's got a swell clef in his chin like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. My, what a guy that Gaston. Give five hurrahs, give twelve and rips. Gaston is the best and the rest is all drips. Ow! No. Like Gaston. In a wrestling match, nobody bites like Gaston. Oh, there's no one as burly and brawny. As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right! And every last inch of me is covered with hair. No one hits like Gaston, matches wits like Gaston. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating. Ten points for Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. But now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, some roughly the size of a boy. Gaston. More beer! Hello, 
ladies. Ladies, ladies, there's plenty of me to go around. find her myself. <laughs> crazy old Maurice. Hmm. Crazy old Maurice. Who I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime. I know. But that crazy old loon is best father. And his sanity's only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning. Since I looked at that loony old man See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle And right now, I'm evolving a plan If I Yes Then we No, would she? Yes Now I get it Let's go! No one Plots like Gaston. Takes cheap shots like Gaston. Plants you persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston. Yes, I'm endlessly mildly resourceful. As down to the depths you'll descend. I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who has brains like Gaston? Entertained like Gaston. Who can make up these endless refrains like Gaston? So his marriage we soon will be celebrating. My what a guy, Gaston.
Well, what is it? Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Just about. I have the foggiest idea what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. Good, good. Oh, don't just stand there gaping. Get to work! You tell him. I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset, but you've got uh, something on your back. What on earth are you talking about? Ah! What is that? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Well, get it off me! It won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? Wasn't there last night when I went to bed? Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. Relax. Relax? How can I relax with this appendage on my back? There's an old thing that he left for me. What's going to go next? My mind? Calm down, Cogsworth. It will be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We are in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? I'll see about her. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What is taking so long? Try to be patient, Master. The girl lost her father and her freedom all in the same day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Well, of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. It's not that simple, Lumiere. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, and, well, look at me. He has a point. Oh, shh. Master, you have to help her see past all of that. But how? Well, you could start by straightening up. Try and act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all... What? You, you must, must control, control your, your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, yes, the girl. Well, she's in the middle of circumstances being what they are. She's not coming. She's not coming. She's not coming. Oh, we'll see about that. Your Lordship, your grace. Your Eminence, let's not be hasty! Lumiere, stand aside! Everyone, stay where you are! I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. You can't just go around ordering people to be hungry. What? Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Well, how about this? If you do not come down to dinner right now, I will drag you by the hair. Master! That may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. But... Why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to join me for dinner. So you admit you were being a bully. <gasps> deep breaths, Master, deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind? 
as to join me for dinner. Ah, uh, pa, pa. Please. No, thank you. Fine, then starve. Master. If she does not eat with me, she does not eat at all. But master, what were we thinking? We will never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do, give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my son's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's the slightest chance. Lumiere, stand and watch the door. And if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. Oui, mon capitaine. I ask nicely, and she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg? Show me the girl. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that matted fur, he's really not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but once you get to know him... I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just a fool. She will never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone and left me in this state. An object of repulsion and derision. Hated, is there no one who can show me how to win the world's forgiveness? Ah, what? No! Oh, what did they say? Shower her with compliments. Impress her with your wit. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Lumiere! Oh, Lumiere! Babette! Come to me, my little fluff! Uh, <laughs> it's my hands, isn't it? You do not love me anymore! Oh, this horrible smell! Oh, Sherry, you cut me to the wick! Using a little thing like that would change my feeling for you. Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, no, no. I've been burnt by you before. Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. I'll ring for Mrs. Potts and sing you an aria while we wait. Ahem. Oh, oh no, that's all right. I'll go myself. But what about the master? He's really not going to like this. I know. Oh dear, oh dear. The cock's right. I like this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say, please. You know, that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Oh, there you are, dearie. Glad to see you out and about. I'm Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth, the girl, she's gone. I swear my eyes never left. Enchanté, mademoiselle. <laughs> this is Lumiere. Stop it, stop that. If there's anything we could do to make you stay more comfortable. <laughs> anything at all. I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth. 
Well, you heard what the master said. Oh, pish tosh, I'm not allowed to, I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Cogsworth, I'm surprised at you. She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. All right, dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our necks. Of course, of course. <laughs> but, of course, what is dinner? Without a little music. Music? Ma chère, mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, our hors d'oeuvre, why we only live to serve. Tries the great stuff. Yes. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, Miss, this is France. And the dinner deal is never second best. Go on on food, your men. You take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We are guests, be our guest. Beef ragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste that you can bear. Come on and lift your glass, you want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest, get your worries off your chest. Let us say for your entree, we venerate, and we suggest. Try the bread, try the soup, when the crew turns loop de loop. It's a treat for any diner, don't believe me, has the china. Singing pork, dancing veal, what an entertaining meal. How could anyone be hungry or depressed? We'll make you shout, encore, and send us out for more. Be our guest. Be our guest. Freshly pressed with dessert, she'll want tea and my fine with me. While the cups do their soft shoeing, I'll be bubbling, I'll be brewing, I'll get warm, piping hot. Heaven's sakes, is that a spot? Clean it up, we want the company impressed. We've got a lot to do. Is it one lump or two? For you, our guest. She's our guest. She's our guest. She's our guest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. So unnerving for a servant who is not serving. He's not always out a soul to wait upon. 
has those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly, those good old days are gone. For years, we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting, needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Most days, we just lay around the castle. Flabby, fat, and lazy, you walked in, and whoops a daisy. dinner. It was wonderful. Good show, everyone. Good show. Well done. Well done. Oh, look at the time. Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Enchanted? Who said anything about being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out by myself, thanks. I was hoping to take a look around, if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour. I don't think that's such a good idea. We don't want you-know-who poking around you-know-where, if you know what I mean. I was actually hoping that you could take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to the hand-painted ceiling, complete with cherubs frolicking amongst the nymphs and centaurs. Act like a gentleman. 
act like a gentleman. This will be good. Bell? Bell? May you note the unusual inverted archways. This is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> May I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And now it was the last time a stone of that weight was quarried in this area. What's up there? Nothing. Nothing, nothing of all of any interest in the West Wing. So that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. <laughs> hiding. What an idea. Hiding. Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps, Mademoiselle, would you, would you like to see something else? We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius' pretentious... Maybe later. Perhaps you would like to see uh, the gardens or, or as a library. You have a library? With books. Oh, yes. Scads of books. Mountains of books. Cascades. Cloud bursts. Swamps of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books on every subject, by every author who ever said Ben de Papier. We even have books on clocks. Don't touch that! I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I I... Do you realize what you could have done? No. Get out! Don't touch me! No, I... Promise or no promise, I won't stay here! No, no, but I'm, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to frighten you! I didn't mean to hurt you! You don't understand! There's just... There's so little of me left! There's just so little left. And in my twisted face, there's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at kindness and from my tortured shape no comfort no escape all i see but deep within is utter blindness hopeless as my dream dies as the time flies, love a lost illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad conclusion. No beauty could move me. No goodness improve me. No power on earth if I can't love her. No passion could reach me. No lesson could teach me. How I could have loved her and make her love me too If I can't love her, then who? 
Long ago I should have seen All the things I could have been Careless and unthinking I moved onward could be cheaper, no point anymore, if she can't love me, no spirit within me, no hope left within me, hope that I could have loved her, and that she'd set me free, but it's not to be if I can't love her. Let the world be done with me.
still. Oh, that hurts! Well, if you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, if you wouldn't have run away, none of this would have happened. If you hadn't have frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, if you wouldn't have been in the West Wing... And you should learn to control your temper. Now hold still. This might sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. See, I told you they could get along if they tried. So, the ice is broken. At last. And not a moment too soon, either. Have you taken a good look at the rose recently? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it's time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice, romantic way to draw them closer together. Ah, I have just the thing. How would you two like if I warmed you up a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. There's something sweet and almost kind That he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined And now he's dear and so unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before Cheers. Come along, dear. Let's get you out of those wet things. I thought I saw, and when we touched, she didn't shudder from my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding, and I can't breathe. Good. That's good. Excellent. I want to give her something, but what? Well, there's the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. No, 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 no. This is no ordinary girl. You have to give her something special. Something that sparks her interest. Something that... What? Are you sure? <gasps> Say something about the dress. Oh, oh. It's pink. A compliment! Oh, oh. What a nice dress. Thank you. Belle, I have something to show you, but you have to close your eyes. It's a surprise. Get the girl! Can I open them? Not yet. And now. I've never seen so many books in my whole life. You really like it? It's wonderful. Then it's yours.
King Arthur. This is one of my favorites. Have you read it? N no. I'd love to read it again. Wait, you can read it first. N no, you. No, you. No, but I, I can't. You never learned to read? Only a little and long ago. Well, it just so happens this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here, sit by me. Well, who'd have saw it? Well, bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Well, who indeed? And who'd have guessed it? Come to guess her on their own. It's so peculiar, wait, wait and see. A few days more. There may, may be something there that wasn't there before. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you're older. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? Oh, I do hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's to be, it will be very soon. Come along. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, but to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword and- So that must mean he's the king. Wait and see. I never knew that books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place and help me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I... what I am. We have something in common, you know. In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. <laughs> then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the crowd a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. Are they still in there? Yes, and so far, he has been a perfect gentleman. Mama, I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it may feel oh, kind of bubbly. <laughs> I feel it too, son. It's called hope. Ah, oh, we, oui, my little friend. The day we've been waiting for may be at end. Oh, if only that were true, Lumiere. Ah. Oh. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with a mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again, poised and polished and gleaming with charm. Courting again, she can sporting again. Which should cause several husbands alarm. I'll hop down off this shelf. And to sweet be myself. I can't wait to be human again. When we're human again, only human again. When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. Little push, little shove. They could whoosh, fell in love. Ah, oh, Sherry, you won't it all be top drawer. I'll wear lipstick and rouge, and I won't be so huge. Why, I'll easily fit through that door. I'll exude a savoir faire. I'll wear gowns, I'll have hair. It's my prayer to be human again. When I'm human again, only human again. When the world once starts more making sense, 
I'll unwind for change. Really? That'd be strange. Can I help it if I'm flippant? Little shack by the sea, I'll sit back sipping tea. Let my early retirement commence. Far from fools made of wax, I'll get down to brass tacks and relax when I'm human again. So sweep the dust from the floor. Let's let some light in the room. I can feel, I can tell, someone might break the spell any day now. Shine up the brass on the door. Alert the dust pail and broom. If it all goes as planned, our time may be at hand any day now. Open the shutters and let in some air. Put these here and put those over there. Sweep up the years of sadness and tears and throw them away. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. A second chance. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me? With you? That'd be... Yes! When we're human again, only human again, when the girl finally sets us all free, she's a plumbing again, we're a suit again, we'll resume our long lost water pee. We'll be playing again, holidaying again, and we're praying it's ASAP. When we cast off this ball, we'll stand straight, we'll walk tall, when we're all that we want, thanks to him, thanks to her. When we're human again, only human again, we'll go waltzing those old ones to threes. We'll be floating again, we'll be gliding again, stepping, striding as fine as you please. Like a real human does, I'll be all that I want. On that glorious morn when we're finally reborn and we're all. Thank you for coming on such short notice, Monsieur Deoc. I don't usually leave my asylum in the middle of the night, but this fellow said you make it worth my while. See, I have my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. It's like this, see? There's a danger I'll be thwarted. Denied my honeymoon For the pretty thing I've courted Refuses to swoon 
So the time has come for murky plan for which I turn to murky man To find that feet were better than the Maison de Luz And I'll take this girl for granted There's no path I haven't used To her heart no seed unplanted No flowers unstrewn And quite amazing to relate She doesn't want me for her mate Which forces him to contemplate The Maison de Luz I don't wish to seem a tad obtuse But I don't see how I can be of use For I lock people up, I'm not a lonely Hearts Club, I'm a cold, cold fish with a nasty, vicious shriek! Please speak! It's Belle's father who's your client. She adores the old buffoon. She'll be forced to be compliant. She'll, She'll dance to your tune. You get the father through her dad. You just pronounce the old boy mad. And who she slammed up in your pad? The Maison de Do I make myself entirely clear? It's the simplest deal of my whole foul career. Put Maurice away and she'll be here in moments. In a dreadful state, she'll capitulate to me. Oh, I'll be strapping up an inmate. Very tightly. Very soon. But please don't bring him in late or check in time's noon. So wave on bachelor goodbye She'll free my bride She'd rather die than have her daddy Ossify in my sorbid saloon So book the church race classes high To the Maison Tonight is the night, the night you confess your love. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that. You must. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not tell her? Well, I, I, I just can't. You must. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself. And then, when the moment is right... But how will I know when the moment is right? You feel slightly nauseous. No, 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 no. You will know because you will feel it in the air. And you must speak from the art. I must speak from... The, oh, I, I can't! You, you must. must! What are you afraid of? Nothing! Master? Well, I'm, I'm afraid that she might. Might what? Laugh at me! Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take that chance. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. Gogsworth, could you bring the mirror here so we can boost the master's confidence? Uh, master? You can do it, Master. I know you can.
still as old as time true as it can be barely even friends then somebody bends unexpectedly just a little change small to say the least both a little scared neither one prepared beauty and the beast dance with me oh no i could dance, dance with her, her. Just the same, ever a surprise, ever as before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise, tale as old as time. As old as song, bittersweet and strange, finding you can change, learning you were wrong, certain as the sun, rising in the Chip, it's past your bedtime. Thank you for asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. Belle, are, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone's so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere. With... with me. Yes. I must speak from... The, the heart. heart! The heart. Belle, is something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. There is a way. This magic mirror will show you anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa? Oh no, Papa! He, he's in the woods. I, I think he's lost. I should, I should... Go to him. What? You should go to him. But... What about home? You are not my prisoner anymore. You haven't been for a long time now. Take it with you, so you'll always have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Belle, I... Yes? Go. Go! Go. I'm never going to see her again. Well, sire, I must say, everything's going swimmingly. I knew you had it in you. Just excellent. I let her go. You what? How could you do that? I had to. But, but why? After all this time, he's finally learned how to love. Oh, that's it then, right? That should break the spell. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now, it's too late. 
No spell has been broken. No words have been spoken. No point anymore if she can't love me. No dream to pursue so. No hope she would do so. Hope that she would love me and that she'd set me free. But it's not to be if I can't love her. Let the world be done with me. We're finally home. Rest here. What happened? The last thing I remember, I, I was falling. You were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never find you. But, but how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. That terrible beast? He's really not terrible. In the beginning, I was so frightened. I, I thought it was the end of everything, but somehow things changed. How? It's funny. When I look around, I see the whole world differently now. My 
childhood dreams, but I don't mind. I'm aware and who I want to be. No change of heart, a change in me. Monsieur Dark? Come and take your father. What? Don't, don't worry. We'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy! He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah! yeah. All right. Bye now. You can't do this. Tell us again, old man. Just how big was that beast? Well, uh, he, he was at least eight. No, more like ten feet tall. <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. It's true, I tell you. Tell me, Reese. When was the last time you heard these delusions? They're not delusions. The beast was real, and so was the talking clock. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he is not crazy. You know, I can clear this mis little misunderstanding up if... If what? You'll marry me. What? One little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never! Have it your way then! Take the old man! Wait, wait! I can prove my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. I know he looks frightened, him. but really, he never hurt anyone. He's kind and gentle. He's He's my friend. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are! I've hunted wild beasts like this before, and I've seen what they can do. He'll make off with your children. He'll come for them in the night. He would never do that. She's as crazy as the old man. I say we kill the beast. Kill we're not safe until he's dead. He'll come stalking us at night. Set to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the woods, through the darkness and the shadows It's a nightmare but it's one exciting ride Say a prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of a castle And there's something truly terrible inside It's a beast, he's got fangs, razor sharp ones Massive paws, killer claws for the beast Hear him roar, see him fall, but we're not coming home till he's dead Good and dead Kill the beast! I won't let you do this! Try and stop us! Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I am coming with you. No! I I've lost you once. I'm never going to lose you again. We'll rid the village of this beast! Who's with me? Ah! Light your torch, mount your horse. Screw your courage to the sticking place. We're counting on Gaston to lead the way. Through a mist, through the woods, where within a haunted castle something's lurking that you don't see every day. It's, it's a beast, one as tall as a mountain. We won't rest till he's good and deceased. Tally four, tally ho, grab your sword, grab your bow, praise the Lord and here we go. What we don't understand, in fact, it scares us, and this monster is mysterious at least. Bring your guns, bring your knives, save our children and our wives, we'll save our village and our lives. We'll kill the beast! Take whatever booty you can find, but remember the beast is mine! 
Hearts are praised, banners high, we'll go marching into battle, unafraid, although the danger's just increased. Raise the flag, sing a song, here we come, we're 50 strong, and 50 friends, they can't be wrong. We'll kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! This gives me the creeps. Shh. Well, it does. Shut up. Cast on and want to go home. Charge. <laughs> Moi, master. Leave me in peace! But the castle is under attack! It doesn't matter anymore. Let them come. Mon Dieu! could use a cup of tea. Why, thank you. Here you go. Whoa! Take that, you scurvy scum. Hey, where did everybody go? in the flesh. Stand up. What's the matter, beast? Too kind and gentle to fight back? You were in love with her, weren't you? You're a fool. She despises you, beast, and she sent me here to destroy you. No! Please don't! Please, I beg of you! Please! Get out! <sighs> Belle, you came back. Take my hand.
sure you know I won't run away from today. This is all that I need and all that I need to say. Home should be where the heart is. I'm certain as can be. I found home. You're my home. Stay with me. Oh. Bell, look into my eyes. Bell, don't you recognize the beast within the man who's here before you? It is you. Bell, let's go find your father. Who is that young man? It's the prince. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It most certainly was. Yoo-hoo! For sure, handsome! Babette! You look so much better! What do you mean? I thought you liked the way I looked before! Uh, I did. It's just, I like you better this way. Then you were lying to me! No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, no, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Well, maybe a little. Lumiere, I like you better this way, too. Madam, may I say it, you look ravishing. Thank you, Cogsworth. Do you like me? I can't believe it fits me again after all these years. It's magnificence in excelsis. Did you know I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera? The king himself was there. I know, my dear. You were wonderful. Oh, Cogsworth.
Mama. Mama. Chip. Chip. They live happily ever after? Of course, son, of course. Do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? No. <laughs>
Okay, um, we are so thankful that um, all of these lovely people on stage gave us flowers ahead of time, and they were absolutely gorgeous, but then we didn't have to take extra time with that afterward. But I do want to recognize our seniors. I feel it's important. This is their last show, and I thank you all for being here. They had a wonderful time, and um, this is hard to say goodbye. So um, our seniors are... Katrina Diaz, would you step forward? I'm gonna have you step forward when I announce your name. Jason Griffith. Josh Mazurkevich. Kim McKenzie. Marissa Nicklo, where are you? Marissa was not in the cast, but she was my assistant and literally did everything behind the scenes. So very, very important person. Um, our next senior is Eli Olson. Yay. Lauren Schrift. Ella Wheeler. Carter Willoughby, <laughs> Bethany Woolley, <laughs> Alicia White, and Avery Zimmerman. Okay, did I miss anybody? I've done this before, that's why I'm asking. Um, thank you all so much for being here tonight. I am. The kids on stage have worked their hearts out for this production, and I'm so glad that you got a chance to see it. There's so many people to thank, but as you know, it takes a village to make something like this happen. Thank you for being here for our first time back on stage in three years. We really had a good time. Thank you. Have a nice evening.